Today we're going to be talking bucket fields, better known as bucket columns on Salesforce reports. And I'm going to walk you through when to use them and how you can create them on a brand new report. We'll do both a currency bucket field as well as a pick list bucket field. So here I am on the Salesforce homepage. I'm going to go ahead and create a net new report. Uh, in this example, I will be using opportunities. So let me grab this opportunities report. Now here I have the different columns here on the side. I'm going to open up parameters just so we can see all of the data in this sandbox. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use uh, a few fields that are already existing on here as well as create a net new one. So for example, if I want to bucket a field and there's two ways to do it, I can click on this little down arrow here and hit add bucket column, or I can actually click on one of the columns on the report and go ahead and bucket this column as well. In this case, I'm going to bucket the amount. So it's going to pull up this, this field here. It's going to ask me to name this bucket field. So I'm on the amount. So what I might do here is I might call this, I'm going to call this revenue, revenue bands. And we're going to look through different bands or different buckets of amounts that we want to be reporting by. So this is going to be the, the lowest amount here. So this is going to be the zero to, in this case, we'll say 100,000. And so you could either call this, we'll call this either the low band or we could even put in those exact numerals. In this case, I'm gonna call it the low band. And I'm gonna go ahead and add one here. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow me to now realize, okay, the next band is from 100,000, and I'm gonna say to 500,000. And I'll call this the medium band. And then anything beyond 500,000 is gonna be the high band. And so these are just these different revenue bands. So now it's gonna bucket my amounts into three different ones. From zero to 100,000 is low, from 100,000 to 500 is medium, and 500,000 plus is gonna be high. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And you'll notice that that field is now found on the far side. So here I have, if you're looking here, you can reference the amounts here. All of these are from zero to 100,000 and are found in the low band. Here's a few median bands from 100 to 500. And right here, a high band is at 675. So that's how you can create those, those bucket columns on an amount field. Now I also wanna walk through how to do it on a pick list field. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and use this type here. It looks like there's a few existing customers and then just a new customer. And so I wanna group the existing companies, the existing customers together and have that separate from new. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and create an add bucket column. Rather than doing it directly from the field on the report, I'm going to do it right here. So I'm going to say add bucket column, and I'm going to search by that field, which is the type on the opportunity. And I'm going to call this uh, new versus existing. And here I have the different pick list values. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to add a few buckets here, just like before. So this bucket is going to be the new customer and in order to add a value I'm going to go to the unbucketed values click on the new customer and I'm going to move it to the new customer bucket now I'm going to add another bucket and I'm going to say existing customers and again back to the unbucketed values I'm going to grab all three of these existing customers and go ahead and move them over so just like that I you can see here on this frame that I have three existing, company, three existing customers that are bucketed into this bucket and the new customer is now bucketed here. So if I apply that, we've now grouped those types in a bucket, just like that. And so you'll see the existing versus the new. Now what you can also do is you can also have that as, uh, you can also sort by that on the entire report here, or group by that on the entire report. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this new bucket, and I'm gonna push it up to one of the, the group rows here, and you'll now show that that is one of the, the groups that it's being sorted by here on this report. And so again, this is what I just created. Now you'll notice here that there are a, there is a blank here. Now on any pick list, uh, or even text that you're trying to create buckets out of, there's also this checkbox here. If you want it to instead, uh, those that are not listed here or that are not uh, maybe null or blank, you can also have them grouped as other. So if I click that, you'll notice that this will now change to other down here. 
So these are how you create bucket fields or bucket columns on reports. That's an example of a pick list as well as a currency. Now, one thing to note is that bucket fields are, in my opinion, only useful if they're used very sparingly on certain reports. If you're realizing that you want a revenue band or you want this new verse existing on all records, it might make more sense to create a formula field on that object, report directly on that field rather than having to create bucket fields and having to update these buckets each time you make updates. So again, only if this is... <coughs> <coughs> So again, only if these different groupings are used on one or two reports, does it make sense to have it as a bucket field or bucket column instead of just a formula field that would live on that object. Obviously it's a formula field. You could just grab it right here on any report for this object. Thanks, let me know if you have any more questions. I'll see you next time.